Okay. Hey, welcome to Ghostbusters Role Playing Episode Two. Game Masters waving. Um, previously on Ghostbusters, there were Blair, some take it. There were some ghosts. <laughs> the new guy broke the equipment. <laughs> We're yeah. not over that already. Oh no, we haven't even started. <laughs> we could, we could really bust some heads in a spiritual sense, of course. Spiritually speaking, um, hey everyone. So it's Blair back again with the mighty gang of Mike as Peter Venkman. Wave to the crowd, Mike. Um, we have <clears throat> James Harrison as Ray Stance. Hello. Lovable, cuddly, science guy, doofus. Um, but speaking of doofuses, then we've got Lyle down gonna... there, who is the new guy, Professor Stephen North Dakota Brown. And yeah, I don't remember another... his name. I just know him as new guy. <clears throat> yeah, everyone just calls him new guy, so don't worry about that. And we got Jenna down there. Wait for the crowd, Jenna. Yay! Who is playing Janine Melnitz. Sorry about the bug eye thing, Janine. Um, and I then type something, will you? <laughs> we're paying for this stuff. And then we got Logan Davis there uh, as the cookie. All right, and uh, I and can't he wave. Is, you can't he's wave. Egon. Well, I'm imagining a cookie waving. How's that sound? Um, so he, it, and he's Egon, by the way. For and he is playing Egon, the the collector of spores, molds, and fungus. And, and was known as the brains, along with Ray, of this outfit. So, um, hey. yeah. So, so that's everyone. We have pretty much all the movie characters, except for um, and and Janine. Thank you very much, Janine. And uh, and the new guy that takes the brunt of everything. So you know that's uh, that's always good. Um, ready. So, sorry, what was that? My body is ready. Oh, it's gonna take <laughs> but are you willing, though? Are you willing to take this this pain and punishment? No, no, no? not okay. All right, um, I'm not willing. No, okay. So last time we were playing Ghostbusters, we started off with a call, and, and I'm trying to remember the voice I used. I'm gonna have to go back in time and revisit that maybe in one of the previous podcasts to get that voice down but um pretty sure you spoke with your back teeth clenched <laughs> well something was clenched lyle and other than that <laughs> uh yeah it was a very nerdy kind of an anxious call that uh called the ghostbusters out that something was afoot in Columbus Circle in New York. So uh, everybody rushed out, um, except for Jenna, which was Janine, which, which will become important later on in a little bit. Just hang in there, Janine. You're all good. Um, and yeah, and then the guys found there was something glowing in the sewers, not just the regular sewer gas and stuff like that. But uh, no, this was actual... Something weird and strange is going down, and Bustin makes me feel good. So they, they headed into the sewers, which is where New Guy broke their video camera. Going down a ladder. Yep. <laughs> Landed on Ray, so there was no real was, damage done. I received a lot of help from everybody else's Peter's fat ass, specifically. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> I received a lot of help breaking the video equipment from your How can you plummeting blame fat Peter ass. for you dropping the thing. <laughs> Everything was fine until he, uh, the power was shut Dickless off by here, Dickless here. <laughs> so Dickless here dropped the camera. Um, <laughs> now, so at least now. how I remember it. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> awesome. And I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, Ray, a.k.a. James, broke the fall as, as he fell off the sewer ladder onto Ray, which was, good job, Ray. <laughs> Next time, try catching the equipment, you know? it's uh, No? Okay. Damn it, new guy. <laughs> and, and Egon was actually able to avoid 
as as new guy went down, which was a, a funny scene in my mind. Logan sort of up there, just sort of like shaking his head, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, so then everyone proceeded into the uh, the sewers, and there were some really weird glowy stuff happening and then it stopped and then there were some tentacles in the wall and then they got down further and there was this pack of rats that was sort of chasing them down uh this slope into this sort of big cistern room and uh which is a fancy word for just saying shithole uh and and then there was this glowy ghostly thing that had this big eyeball on the front of it and um as i recall was it ray who shot that or was it egon i forget i think it was ray uh, i think it was ray was, was it ray okay great I, I was willing to give you some credit there egon but sorry i can't do that can you remind me this big creature is it is it uh, a ghost of a creature? I mean, is it... Okay. It's yes. A it, it was ghostly. Ghostly. And as I recall, like it was transparent, but it wasn't behaving like a regular ghost. You said it was a foot. A what? foot? <laughs> yeah, you just opened this whole thing saying something was a foot, and we found the foot. Okay, if you were... Anywhere physically near me, I'd smack you. But other than that, <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was it. It was this weird bulbous mass of tentacles and stuff, and and just to add to sort of this whole that there was this big eyeball on the front of it. And right, it seemed, but my my question is, if if you were if you threw a rock at this thing, would it go through it or would it? It would go through it. Okay. Yep. All right. So, um, yeah, because it was transparent, translucent. His tentacles were sort of going through the walls at one point. Good work. And, good work. And um, uh, and Egon, as I recall, made a brains roll saying that, although you couldn't remember specifics of this, but it seemed similar to, like, this kind of a creature is something that would have been summoned. So this isn't like a haunting per se, but it is of the ghost world and it somebody has physically summoned this thing to this location. So that was sort of wetting more of the mystery ap appetite there. And then Ray up and shot it and then it exploded with this ectoplasmic uh, blast and that was where we pretty much left it. Dun, dun, dun. But it was is everybody nice. down in the sewer now? Is he gone down in the sewer? I can't remember. Egon is down in the sewer, yeah, because he was making PKE rolls and stuff like that. Oh yeah, okay. this thing was throwing off a lot of PKE energy. It was... It was, yeah, it was right. one big Twinkie. Um, <laughs> Tell them about the Twinkie. <laughs> okay. Um, and actually, as an interesting side note, just before we get started, um, this is my ghost die. I actually found my ghost die from uh, way back when. Nice. Um, so it has so every this, number but one and six on it? It No, it actually, okay, so the ghost die is, I've got a whole bunch of dice here, and I've got a white one that will stand in as my ghost die. Uh, six was replaced with the Ghostbusters logo. Oh, okay. And that's when you roll, everything gets uh, goes FUBAR if you roll a six on that die. But it because everything was painted on, it, it has completely worn down from, you know, the years that I've had it, so... I've had this forever, and I just I happened to find it going through my stuff last night, so thought I'd show that to the audience. You can tell Sandy to make better dice next time, okay? There, I'll get right on that. Yeah, I'm sure he had as much choice in that one as the topography of the manuals. So, um, so sure, yeah, um, well. he's doing a new Kickstarter soon. Is he? Is he got new an add-on for uh, Ghost Wars? Or... No, yeah. it's it's um. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead. Okay, no problem. So one of the things to sort of say is that the, for everyone who's playing along at home or wants to know, um, there are things called brownie points in the Ghostbusters system, and that allows you to roll an extra die when you really, really, really don't want to mess up. So, And I throw them out for different role-playing reasons and stuff like that. So, my uh, something called Planet Apocalypse. I have to ask. Apocalypse. Yeah. You should ask him next time it. you have lunch with him, Mike. Yeah. Well, I don't have lunch with him that, that often, but, I, <laughs> but now that I have a decent car, it's going to happen more often. 
He lives about 45 minutes away from me, and it's probably worth it. A mobile was. I didn't want to risk it. Makes sense. Now I got a decent car, thanks to my patrons. Do you know if it's a uh, an RPG or board game, Mike? Offhand. I just got his email. I haven't had oh, okay. a chance to ask him about it. All right. Cool. He wants he wants Logan and I to go over there and play some games with him. I'm gonna ask him if it's okay. You you guys, uh, you got You should see the inside of his house. He's got this one room that's floor to ceiling, games, movies. I mean, three walls. Yeah. Yeah, three walls, floor to ceiling. I say for a tier on your Patreon, you get you get Logan with a camera to follow you in while you play the game. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, a thought. You think people want to see me on camera? So, I want. I figure people would probably want to see you going His into Andy's library and playing a game in there. Yeah, I'm sure. He's got lots yeah. of neat little treasures hidden away. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so um, Mike and James, you guys have twenty-one brownie points for excellent role playing last time. You gained some, some bonuses there. Uh, Egon, you've got 20 points, the standard 20, as you do to Janine, uh, Jenna. And Lyle, I think I deducted one from you for something, something yeah, I was awful. Hoping, you but I've forgotten about your atrocious hypocrisy. Okay, that's 18 then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, kind of bring uh, it on yourself. This isn't quite paranoia, but, you know, given that it's a West End game, oh, too. It really, you know, goes with the flow kind of thing. Okay. So, when we last left our Ghostbusters, you guys got blasted in your own way by this ghost energy thing. Like, Ray shot right into the eyeball, and it just went poof! And baked the whole um, room that you were in, and everything around you just went like this, this glowy uh, aura... And then nothing, and then you're in darkness now. So uh, I did that. I did that. Sorry. <laughs> so, like I mean, it pretty much got all of you. So um, don't worry, Ray. You, the rest of us blame you too. <laughs> and you feel so funky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, so so paint a picture. What are we seeing now after so this? Now, is how this thing is just like it exploded and it's gone. Uh, I mean, normally when you hit something with a with a, a proton beam, you know, you're trying to contain it, capture it. This thing, I mean, again, it was transparent like a ghost. It was throwing off PKE like a ghost, but it didn't behave like a ghost. And so now you guys are all sort of, you're in this room now that, and, and it it looks like it's gone. I mean, Egon's PKE meter is pretty much limp, and um, the rats that were behind you are freaking out. So, guys, are we thinking we killed it? Good. Well, it's a. Kid. <laughs> it's but a question. Complete, it Peter, seems like a complete who are we eradication for this job. I was going to say, who do we build for this? Yeah, that would be the Angman's question. Yes, but we are having a special on containment this month, so... Can I possibly guess at why the why the rats are losing their minds? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, so, new guy, you want to try to roll something? Yeah. Okay, so let's do a brains roll on that. And, I'll do. and actually... Because you are guessing, I will give you the full seven dice. Yeah. Okay, so that's six black dice and one white dice, or one special die to be your ghost die, okay? I've got six with dots and one with numbers. All right. <laughs> he, that is a... Must have been a good roll. How do you count successes again? Well, you just tell me what you rolled. And if like the total, the total, if you and the six on if you roll the six on your ghost die, that doesn't count. That's a zero. Right. Um, so you just t tell me the total, and then if you roll, well, the tell ghost us die, the ghost die first. Well, that's a twenty with a six on the ghost die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, 
it must be mating season for these rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Let's just lean right. These rats are excited. Look at them go. <laughs> um, yeah, all you can pretty much tell is they're freaking out. They are definitely, their heart rate is definitely elevated. And um, they are taking off back up the ramp. So, uh, Logan, did you have something you wanted to add in there, man? Uh, yeah, I said I was also going to do a roll for that. Okay, so so you're currently looking at your PKE meter here. Um, so you want to sort of put that back down and, and have a look at the rats kind of thing? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've got a seven brains, which is pretty much what new guy just blew. So uh, if you'd yeah. like to roll six dice and a ghost uh, guy. Can you then... roll for me? I don't have seven dice. Oh, okay. Dice. No problem. I'm happy to do that. I was rolling awesome tonight. Except now. Um <laughs> No, actually, you're you're pretty good. You got a total of uh, 10, 18 with no ghost die. So that's pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you can tell that the rats as a smaller organism have been affected by whatever the hell just happens. And they're not happy about it. And they're all kind of excited and, and, again, trying to get out of wherever the current area is. So does that kind of make sense? It's, yeah. Without really capturing one and studying it, you wouldn't really be able to get too much more beyond that. I mean, I'm just giving you, like, surface details right now. Well, can I try and take one? To take it back? Yeah, how do you want to do that? Yeah, to, to take it back. I, yes, how would you like to do that? Um... This isn't spores and Paint a picture here. for us, Logan. Let's go here. Yeah. Uh, do we have any... I don't remember. What, what did we have Okay, so you brought with you... Let me see here. You've got a proton pack. You've got a walkie-talkie. Um, James has uh, a visor, go, um, a night vision visor, yep. which uh, if you're wearing... I'm going to assume that you're pretty blind at the moment. Okay, Ray? So, sorry about yeah. that. Um... You all have proton packs. Yeah, I don't really see that you yeah. have anything that's really small enough for... I mean, you can try proton blasting one. Uh, let's see what happens, but uh, it's uh, up to you. Yeah. Nice shooting, Tex. Don't shoot them. They're adorable. Can you remind me, because I don't remember from yeah, no, no, no episode one, what got us down here in the sewers in the first place? Why did we come down? We got a phone call down to uh someone said there was some weird stuff going on at columbus circle uh -huh. and when you arrived you saw oh, that the, sorry what was that jen i missed that? that there was something big in the sewers yeah something big okay. going down right. and right. uh when you arrived it, there was like glowing stuff coming out of all of the storm drains and sewer vents and stuff like that and then it just vanished as soon as you came on the scene so the other conclusion, as I recall, that you were able to determine at that point was something has intelligence. So this isn't something that's mindless or, okay, so, so we know that it was summoned. It, it's like a ghost, but it didn't behave like a ghost. And it has some degree of intelligence to it. Well, do we think that there are more apparitions in the sewer? Good question. Uh, who wants to check their PKE meter? The only one that I think that has one is Egon. Yeah, okay. You, so have, one, you have one as well, James. So somebody could take well, it I'm off. Blind. You. <laughs> well, you're moment. sort of collecting. Uh, I'll, ch I'll check mine then. Uh, you don't have one as far as I know. You want to check his? <laughs> Just well, take it off me. <laughs> you were checking the rat. So if Peter would like to see if this thing is working. Um... I think it is. <laughs> they hate this. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you have a two brains, Peter. But oh, I'm doing this. Okay. But but you have parapsychology, so I will give you the bonus on that one. I have PhDs in psychology and parapsychology. Yes, but you did get yeah, a ghost sure. die. So as oh. you take the PKE meter, it sort of zaps you a little bit, but um. And, and a little numbing there, but uh, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of any ghost activity now. Like the PKE meter is reading a big goose egg. So, I didn't know you were going to give me electric shocks. 
No, no, I, I sort of see... You're pissing me I, off, man! I see Vic taking the PKA meter off Ray. Right. The thing breaks because it's like the goops on it, there's water, whatever. And then he hands it back to Ray going, here, the new guy broke your PKA meter. <laughs> Right in the middle of something, Ray. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, no, it seems like there is nothing present anymore, and it looks like a job well done. So let me know when I can see again. Yeah, I'll bring back your eyes now, man. It's uh, because I'm wanting, just like Egon, to bring one of these rats back, hopefully without. Shooting it. Okay, well, they're, they're zipping up uh, the passageways. There, they are rats. So you know, are they coming towards us or away from us? Oh, they're away. They're they're running out of the room that you guys were in. So oh, they're going back up to the. Okay. I'm pull well, I wonder and... if they're running away from what just happened, or possibly also something else. If we go in the direction that they're in the opposite direction that they're running from. Yeah, we can give that a try if we can fit wherever they're So you guys want to check out the it's room It's up to you guys. It's just a suggestion. Oh, yeah, Ray's more than happy to do that. What do you think, Egon? Uh, we, we didn't really have anything to capture it with. Ray's just going. Okay, so what's Ray doing? I'm running after the rats. You're running after the rats, okay. Uh, Egon, what do you want to do, man? Uh, I'll try and help him. As I okay. Can. Peter, what are you doing? Are you you being the stable man of the group here, or uh, wiping off your hands from the PKE meter? Or uh... I'm I'm thinking I might head in the the room. Uh, maybe if new guy wants to come with me, we could go in the opposite direction. Maybe they're fleeing from something else. And you did have two containment unit thingies that he had brought down from the car. Right. Those straps. Yep. I'm the only one with those. What What do you oh. think, new guy? You want to do that? Lead on. I mean, who cares what you think? You're the new guy. Um. <laughs> Can I just say it right now, Lyle? Thank you for being a good sport about this. It, it does add. You so are much taking to it humor. on the chin like a pro. Yes, that Wait, is, you think that I'm is being awesome. A good sport? All right, hear that again. We can. You think I'm being a good sport? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can. I can. I can try and drag that out a little longer. Yeah, you can. You can. You know, I might give you some ghost points. I can continue points, this deception. Points. All right, so uh, okay, so let's just follow along with the guys running up the hallway. Um, so we got Ray and Egon looking for the rats. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, unless you've got something you want to, I mean, unless you want to shoot at them or maybe try to capture them in that ghost trap somehow. I mean, unless you've got well, something Ray's, to lure them with, you well, know, Ray's got a plan. Ray's got a plan. Okay, what's Ray's plan then? I'm going to take off one of my boots and try and put it in. <laughs> okay, so Ray is now wandering around with sewers with one sock foot. Okay. Yep. What could go it's wrong? Si it's for science. All right. <laughs> well, okay. the way, uh, all kidding aside, the way that I see it is we've got essentially three choices. Go after, get a rat, check the opposite direction of the rats a little I'll bit go to see back if there's anything the else, thing. or we're done in the sewers would be the third choice. Yeah. So what's everybody? Yeah, a distinct feeling that we're not done in the sewers. Well, that's why I'm going after the rat, because right now okay. that's the only foreseeable thing that I can see. But if I would say do your plan, Mike, and then if yeah. you sort of hit a dead end, just come back the other way, because that's probably where we'll be. Yeah, I'm not going to go far. I just want to see if there's yeah. anything else. Mm -hmm. Just checking some stuff here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, no, guys, it's pretty quiet there in that cistern room that you're in. It's, um, I seem to recall also somebody shot at the roof at one point, so that's a little, <laughs> you know, um, but stuff seems to be holding up okay, and yeah. It's like New York it's, tunnels and everything, so. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, it's lasted this long. Um... Yeah, as to, uh, let me see here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, new guy is going to try a brains roll. Okay, that one went pretty well. And then we'll do something with Peter as well. Hang on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Five, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, Peter launched. Okay, so here's what happens. Okay. So, uh, new guy goes in, and he starts to see, hey, wait a minute, there's something carved onto the wall here. And Peter walks right past him, knocks his hand down, and goes, hey, wait, there's something on the wall here. <laughs> I discovered something. <laughs> Look at this! Studious. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so it looks like somebody has carved some kind of bizarre symbol onto the wall. So that might have been the summoning point for whatever this thing was. Well, then I would suggest calling Egon and Ray over here because they're the brains of the operation. See if they can decipher this thing. Or, they or, might know or, something. Yeah. So, well, certainly not new guy. Well, maybe. I mean, you know. Tobin's spirit guy, you know, whatever. Yeah, he could he could guess, but uh, you know sometimes you want a little more than a guess, right, new guy? I, I, I want to holler for Egon and and Ray. Okay, so let's check out then catching rats up there. Uh, you know, you've got the only thing is Ray doesn't have really the moves to pull it off, and neither does Egon. Really speaking, oh, no. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I didn't this pick is, this because I thought it was a good idea. I just oh, picked okay. it because I thought it was good. It was good character. Do you want to try to spend some brownie points on this? Yeah. Um, so right now you're currently looking at uh, for Ray. I mean, for Sneak, I might be able to be generous. I'll give you two extra dice, given that you're sort. It's a different kind of Sneak that you're doing. Okay. So I'm giving so you that's... four dice, and okay. this is a pretty hard task. So, All right, so I'm going to spend like. Six brownie points on this. Okay, let me. I love this. I'm excited to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, let's just put I'll put five into it. So that'll drop you down to sixteen. Okay. I think okay. Anything more than that is going to be overkill. overkill. Yeah. All right. So you want to roll uh, eight dice plus one ghost die. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus ghost die. Let's do this. All right. I'm sorry, was I supposed to roll that, or I, I heard... No. Okay, so... <laughs> well... There well, goes, five, there goes <laughs> five brony points out the window. Oh, no. Um, what, what was your total? 15, That's the next thing. 26. <sighs> really? Oh, well... Okay, because, like, the ghost die doesn't count as any, right? You didn't get... You didn't. It's not a six or anything like that. Correct. Okay. Um, wow, that's really rough. Well, those are some rats uh, that are getting away. Mm -hmm. The rats that are getting away. And, okay, so um, Shoeless here <laughs> stumbling oh. around. <laughs> I hope your plot didn't revolve around me catching one of these rats, Blair, because I kind of messed up your nest. Like, that's it. If you didn't catch it, that's the rest of the story. <laughs> uh, I think you should hop over here and uh, on that one chewed foot and try to decipher this. Yeah, no, I'm going to say... Writing that, that I found. <laughs> All right, uh, Blair, what happens? Okay, so y you don't catch a rat. They take off. Yep. You were close. You, you were close-ish. Right, this then, much. Yeah, and then you tripped on something. And now your left hand doesn't feel so good. Uh, Egon, did you want to take a stab at that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's learning from Ray's mistakes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good job, Ray. Yeah, that does not support this action. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the rats are gone. Um, for now. And, uh, yeah, so you guys, you bring Ray back down the, the, the ramp there, and um, you've got your flashlight to sort of look at... Uh, um, what's going on down there. And especially, I mean, Ray is probably in the best ability to sort of look at this thing because he's got the night vision goggles, the, uh, the uh, ectovisor. So, but I mean, it really doesn't show anything else except for just fine details of that. It has been physically carved into the tiles, the, the brickwork. Um, and that seems to have been the um, 
the root summoning point for whatever the hell this thing was. But, you certainly have a lot of information that you could whoa that you could take back to um, do more research. So this you've got some good clues here. You think? But do Egon? But do Egon and uh, Ray? Can they tell anything about it? I mean, they're the knowledge. At this point, um, all you're able to really do is see um, to look at the physicality of it. Mm -hmm. versus the the you know the theory behind it which is what you'll do with more research um but you can see that yeah this has been uh this isn't an accident somebody has physically carved this in taking the time to carve it in you figure it's probably um a good hour or two or three somebody spent making this sigil on the wall on a okay. scale from blank piece of paper to etch a sketch what methods do I have available to me for plotting out where we are in the sewer exactly so that I know where the writing is? One second. Uh, Logan, are you there? You dropped out for a second. Yeah, I'm back now. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. hey, okay. go ahead. Sorry. Um, if you missed anything there, Logan, I'm happy to repeat it. Are you? Uh, I think I'm good. You're good? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you didn't miss much. Just um, both you and Ray are able to... Uh, I mean, you can get the physicality of it, not the theory behind it. That'll be more research later on. So, um, okay. So, great question, new guy. Um, can you? S it's just further on the street. It's it's uh, like fifty I feet away. Yeah, you'd have to do more research to be able to sort of see exactly. Well, I guess what I want to know is that when we get back to the headquarters, if we were to lay out a map of the sewer, would I be able to point at the map and say, that's where the writing is right there? Yes, you would be able to do that. No problem. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a fairly simple route that you took to get in here. Um, unless something weird is going on, like, dimensionally, but you don't see anything, any reason to suspect that, so... So, Game Master, should we... I don't know if you're you want to give reaching, us notes. You're reaching the end of what you can sort of do here for the moment, but okay, that's there's what I lots thought. of plot seeds that are sort of going off, and that's... It's really up to you guys sort of what you want to do at this point. Uh, you know, if, if... I try to play these things, not that I'm any... In fact, I'm very much not an expert at role playing. No, no, you're good. But if I I try to play them as if I was really there in the situation. So I would think personally that hey, I think we've done all we can do. Let's try to remember what this, you know, uh, symbol symbol or whatever looks yeah. like, so we can look it up later in Tobin's Spirit Guide or something, yep. and then maybe head back to the headquarters. That's what I would be thinking. But, and, and and who is going to pay for all of this? And other than that, I think you're uh, you've got the right idea. <laughs> yeah, who's paying for my time today? <laughs> I also think that it's the very first time I've ever seen anybody metagame in avoidance of metagaming. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Mike likes to step outside every now and again and just confirm that he's he's on the right track and everything's good. And and actually, hey, I think you know what? If there's a rule, I'm going to break it. So. <laughs> Every once in a while, you have to surface, take a yeah. deep breath, and dive back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And honestly, guys, if you are stuck, talk to me. I'm here. This is not some deep, dark... This is not Cthulhu. If it was Cthulhu, you'd be on your own. But this is... It's just... We're going to have some fun, okay? All right. And, and you let me know, uh, Lyle, when, when you get tired of the new guy shit, so I can keep my on you guys. Uh, other than that. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's vote. You guys want to go back to headquarters? Yeah, this is yeah. fine with me. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Can I get some of the goop? Make sure I have some of that for whenever we get back. What goop? From whenever we shot the thing. Somebody blows their nose and you want to keep it? This was like ectoplasmic. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know, like, thinking the slime, but this was like translucent. Oh, okay. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a physical manifestation. It was ghost goop. It was ghost goop. That's it. That's good, that's good it. thought, though. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so back to All the right. office then. Um, 
Somebody needs to work on that video equipment, but uh, I'm not naming names. Uh, Ray walks in with a soaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so who's going to drive back? Like, Ray, are you up for driving here? Or what's. Uh... Well, I did take my left shoe off to do this, so. That's true. I should be okay with driving. Okay. Your, your left hand is not so great, though. So I'm rolling again here for you. Yes. The only problem you have in driving back is that you can't flip the bird as fast as you would like to to okay. the taxi drivers who are sideswiping you. Okay? A New York necessity. It <laughs> is. It is. It's, it's, it's absolutely necessary. So, um, so, yeah, you guys are all good. So Janine greets you back at the uh, you know, office. Uh, I, I can't remember. Were we going to do a Brooklyn accent or no, you feel comfortable with I'm that? Not, okay. I'm not that talented. All right. That's okay. We, that's... we wanted to hear her try, though. Yeah. yeah. That's... <laughs> that's part of the fun. I heard her try earlier. You don't actually want to hear her. <laughs> Oh, my God. What happened? Ray, did you hurt yourself? <laughs> that's, yeah. that's terrible. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> um, hey, and I love um, actress who plays Janine. Uh, sort of, wow, brain gap. Um, designing women and oh uh, gosh. All right, there's one for the the board to chime in. I'm sure we've got comments going around somewhere. Um, Not as many tonight. No. No. Okay. I think most of our viewers are going to be. Uh, They'll watch it afterwards. They'll watch it later, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, no, you guys make it back. You you fill in Janine on all of the fun that you've had. There is the broken video camera and the strange symbol that you found on the wall. Uh, you play by Annie Potts. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Awesome, awesome Annie Potts. Okay. <laughs> I've quit better jobs than this. <laughs> okay. So, should we look up the symbol? Probably a good idea. Um, there's also um, there's also the whole creature thing that, that you, you uh, wanted to get some more information on. Somebody wanted to look at floor plans. I think it's something like that with the sewers. That might require some fast talking to get some current sewer plans down at the 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 uh, civic office. <laughs> Who's good at fast talking? Uh, you know, and oh, um, I might just be able to call and have someone bring it over. You have an eight and convince. I have a seven, and I have a seven of bureaucratics. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, if some if some BS needs heaving. So, uh, I'm missing the internet. It hasn't even been, been invented yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. All right. So, um, I guess we've got like the research path, we've got the, uh, the city office plans path. Um, is there, are there any other ideas out there that I need to know about that, uh, People are thinking, like, talk it through, you know, whatever you want to do. Well, my original plan was that was to look at an actual map of the sewers and see relative to where we found the thing. That, that's the city plan. Well, I, plan. I, I, that's what I... But, but you want to get something that's current, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. So that's a little... I mean, unless you're going with old plans, that could be another whole line of research. I don't know. Maybe oh. there's something that was from the old plans that wouldn't come up in the new plans. Can we put Janine on that then? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, all right. Anybody else want to help Janine with with getting the plans, or is that uh, I'll do it. you do it? Okay, great. So that's uh, new guy and Janine. All right, keep him in line there, Janine. And um, let's see. And then there's the whole research angle. I mean, Egon and Ray are probably right in line for doing that stuff. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Yep. I'll read the yeah. paper. All right. <laughs> I was just getting to you there, uh, Peter. Uh, I'll go to her apartment and check her out. I mean, check out her apartment. <laughs> okay, so who wants to go first? You want the civic line of stuff and role-playing, or 
or do we want to follow up on the research side of things? But that uh, I feel like the research thing would be pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, quick roll and then jump into the. It will be, yeah. I mean, but but usually though, uh, just so that you know, usually there's a trail of crumbs that you'll have to follow when you're doing this kind of research stuff. Okay, so and and so. Uh, certainly starting with the Tobin Spirit Guide, uh, let's see, uh, sorry, I just assumed that, that you guys want to start with that, so we'll get to the civic stuff in a second then. Um, yeah, no, that's a good roll. Um, and then Egon is also in on this as well? Yep. Yeah, um, Egon actually um, has it. Oh, wait, no, 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 my bad. Sorry, I misrolled that for Ray because you got the specialty in the call. Yep. You've got a nine. And um, I have my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing stuff for you too, so. Oh, okay. And I get to kill stuff. And then I get to know if you rolled a ghost or not. <laughs> um, which, well, I haven't lied yet. Okay, <laughs> but I'll also check Egon just to see if you guys are on the same wavelength. And Egon, however, did roll a ghost. So sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, yes. So, Egon finds an interesting article on some spores that, that he hadn't recently seen. So, you'll have to check out the sewers another time, Egon, to find some really great fungal sewer spores that's down there that you just sounds like get a good hold. time. There you go. Yeah. You know, a uh, rocking Saturday night. Uh, um, you and the rats, man. You and the rats. And, however, Ray is the first to uncover um, information on a Babylonian god. Um, see, now this is the problem. I mean, Babylon in itself didn't have sewers as we would normally think of them. But there was a sort of a demon or um, guardian of filth. A shit god. You got it! <laughs> so, yes. So you were able to get information on this demon being called Akvad. And that seems to be related to the sigil that you found down there. Okay. Um, in ancient times, um, there, there was this creature slash demon slash guardian of filth. And... Um, Yes, there was uh, rumors of an actual physical presence for this creature slash guardian. I mean, it, it wants to use the word demon, but demon doesn't seem right in this particular context. Tobin seems a little bit, again, it's not a ghost. It's sort of a demon, but not quite. So it's this weird entity thing that, that doesn't really have a standard categorization. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, and that also goes... Labeling. Sorry, go ahead, Mike. It defies yeah. labeling. Yeah, pretty much. And that's also why when you shot at this thing, it was a ghost, it wasn't a ghost, it kind of behaved in this weird, bizarre way mm -hmm. that you've never seen before. Um, and so, yes. Sorry, what was that? No, I think it was just some feedback. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I don't want to cut anybody off. I mean, if you guys have any ideas, you know, and I, I start talking over you, you let me know, okay? But, um, but yeah, there was information of this, this Sumerian, Babylonian kind of creature entity thingy. And on occasion, it could be physically manifested um, as sort of a purity slash purification ritual but it's not very clear um but it apparently did have a cult of followers so this cult of ba bahishma is um a very interesting subsect that followed or or worshipped or was involved with this entity it's it's hard to say given sort of that this is so beyond general nomenclature. Make sense? Yep. It does. Okay. So there's probably followers of this cult here in present day New York City is what we're thinking. So do you guys know 
Um, do you know what all the different books are and stuff that you can research? Um, off the top of my head, no. I just know the Tobin Spirit Guide. Yeah, so just um, it was in some of the handouts. Dude, and stood. <laughs> and, uh, Never studied. Um, so you got the big book of occult lore. You've got Spate's Catalog of Nameless Horror. You've got the Ghostbuster Handbook, which is more like like how you handle all your equipment and stuff like that and, 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 and that. There is the Tobin Spirit Guy. And then there's Roy Lance Guide to Secret Societies and Sex. Fun. I'm just saying. Okay, so um, shall we follow up some of the uh, bureaucrat bureaucracy yeah, stuff? Yeah, I figured the Tobin thing's going to gonna be... I'll be reading that for a while. Though out yeah, of yeah. game, guys, I've figured out where we can find this uh, cult. Is there anywhere selling German shyster porn? <laughs> <laughs> because I figured this cult would be right all over this. Times Square it is. <laughs> Good thinking, Ray. <laughs> Carry on. <coughs> and this is pre-Giuliani uh, cleanup, so uh, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Logan, any other ideas out there? Like, you're, you're just doing research with all of the other guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, if you want to have a look through any of the other books and stuff like that, we can sort of follow up. So now it's kind of like, now I want to research this term or I want to look up this term or, you know. So any of the stuff that I'm saying can then be followed up from there. But that being said, uh, Janine would like to speak to somebody at the Hall of Records for yes. her. Now and when you, you have, have, when you sorry, have talented what? something, do you add that number to your roll or is that no. the number of dice that you roll? That's your total number of dice you roll. Okay, hang on. Let me l let me answer that one. Um, so normally, ignore your husband. In other words, <laughs> well, kind of sort of. So you, normally, you w I would categorize the task that you're attempting to do in either brains, muscles, move, or cool, right? Yeah. And if you have or are trying to do a task within the particular speciality, then I add three extra dice to your roll. So you've got a four brains. But you also have a specialty of bureaucracy. So that adds, so I, I get it. Got it. So I'd give you seven dice to try to ferret out who to talk to at the Hall of Records. Got it. Um, and then we can get into some more role playing there. Um, so, yeah. So, and, and that was the thing with Ray when he was trying to capture the rat. It wasn't exactly in his area. So I gave him two rather than three dice, but it. it was close enough. But then he rolled the ghost die. So, hey, I can't help that. Yeah. All right. So you're calling the Hall of Records, or do you want to go right down there, Janine? Do you want to catch the um, way down? I think I'm going to I'm gonna call. Okay. Uh, Janine, who, who are you going to call? Not you guys. <laughs> I'll be paid enough. So you are put on hold for a while. You listen to, you know, at least... Four different looped versions of Girl of Ipanema. Um, <laughs> and uh, when you finally get off, um, you talk to the, um, the the flunky that picks up the phone and, uh, yeah, Hall of Records, what do you want? I'm calling from the Ghostbusters office. Ghostbusters? Yeah, you know, we helped out the mayor uh, in a big way. You guys are freaks, you know that. Oh, we're proud of it. <laughs> I was hoping to get a, an updated map of the current sewer system right around Columbus Circle. What? What? Why the hell would you want that? Well, Listen, you know. I got lots of things I could be doing right now, and solitaire is just one of them. Yeah, there. You know, there's all sorts of nasty things in those sewers. You hear about the alligators and the... There has rain. never been any conclusive proof of an alligator in the sewers. Not <laughs> conclusive, but you certainly got a lot of people worried. The Inquirer has been down there for years. There's and a lot of circumstantial evidence. Is a mean guppy. That's about as far as it goes. 
Well, an ill-tempered guppy. I'm sure. I'm sure you got some calls today about the weird light coming out of the sewers. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, in fact, I would very much prefer if you could not mention that to anyone else down in the the Gotham uh, government structure. That would be uh, very good for me. Uh, well, if I mean, if you could just uh, send over a copy of the most updated sewer maps, I'm sure I could uh, not make a call downtown. To Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in on this, Peter? Yeah, Come on. Yeah, I you. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, uh, okay. We'll send a courier out your way. Uh, maybe get it. I mean, it, geez, lady, it's like five o'clock now. Uh, well, you I, know, Lenny, Lenny's always up. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give you that one. That's, uh, okay. So you are now at 21 brownie points. Good role playing, and uh, yeah, you'll ha you'll have one. He's gonna send one out in the last uh, uh, um, courier run here for the day, so you might even have it by later tonight. So, Great. good job. What happened there? Sorry, I got disconnected. Oh, there was a whole role playing session that nearly killed my voice. So I am gonna need to get some water here in a second. But um... <laughs> <laughs> well, the essence of it is that she's got the plans coming to her, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and quickly too, which I wasn't even prepared to give you that, but that's awesome. That's so bike, good. Bike messenger. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, okay, so all right, so you've got plans coming out, um, and you've started to do the beginnings of research on on um, whatever the signs and signals signals down were down in the sewer. So I am going to quickly grab a glass of water while you guys plan what to do next, if that's good. And um, give me a sec. Okay, so we got the plans coming. What else is going on? Uh, Ray and Egon are researching. We're checking out right? books. Yeah, yep. it seems like probably the next one they should go for is the, the cultist book. There's the cultist book, and then there's the book of nameless horrors or something like that. I figure those would be the two books we should check out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, get that, I guess you can tell that to Blair when he comes back. See what we can do. Um, did you guys get any uh, rubbing or picture of the symbol you guys saw in the sewers? I think we had to draw it from memory when we got back, right? I think yes. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I don't think any of us thought to bring a little notebook or anything. No. You know, the video camera was done. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what'd I miss? Uh, just Janine berating the new guy over the video camera thing again. <laughs> You've got to invoice that. <laughs> oh, she's gone. All right, so Egon and Ray wanted to research a couple more books. You, okay. guys, want, you guys want to tell Blair which books you're... Go ahead, Egon. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, Colt, uh, he had the list actually. Uh oh. Okay. Ray. Yep. Ray. You had the list of books. What do you want to research? Well, no. Um, there was the cult one, and then there was the uh, uh, unspeakable horrors. I figured. Nameless horrors. Yeah. Yeah. So who wants what? Um, I'll take the cultists. There you go. I'll take the nameless horrors. Okay. All right. So Ray. Oh, you've got your own dice, don't you? Yep. Yeah, give me nine on that, please. Nine dice? Uh, and which, you were going to go the occult lore? Uh, Egon's going for the occult lore. I'm going for the nameless horrors. Sorry, hang yep. on. Um, oh, the spades catalog, right. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. So I roll nine dice. Oh, thank God. Okay, no ghost die on that one. Um, so two, three, four, five, nine, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-three. Oh, pretty good. Um, okay, so. Looking up further on Akvad, which is the the, the entity thing, um, 
you're not I mean this is more something that was covered in the spirit guide um, the okay. nameless horrors catalog doesn't, doesn't really go into that in the same way um, because it's almost like Akvad is not again it's sort of in this weird category between ghost entity and big name entity and 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 space would get you the big name entity stuff mm -hmm. and and this thing seems to be somehow in between it okay so mine okay. mine's a bust let's see how yeah. egon does let's see how egon does am i rolling for you egon yeah you're rolling for me okay so I've got a seven and you are looking through the big bolt book of occult lore correct yep okay Oh, good roll. Um, wow. Okay, yeah. <sighs> you feel like... Okay, having done some research... Did you just flip us off? Did I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be careful then. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is my thinky face over here, but it's got the other behind it. Okay. So, all right. Um, now, one thing you did discover is um, there was a link about the cult of Bahishma, but it's done through an ancillary about their summoning ritual. And part of what was required in that summoning ritual was something called a black pearl. And so that may very well have been part of the carving that you saw down there involved this other artifact um, that was used as part of this ritual. But that's done within the context of it as an occult ritual and sort of what, what was required to, to sort of make that the magic work. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. It's hard no. to pin it down because this this entity thing seems to be defying categorization. It's really oh, it's okay. really outside of sort of boundaries. It's it's like a extracurricular. <laughs> so the poop god needs a black pearl to summon it? Yes, that seems to be somehow part of it as a ritual. Okay, it's so like Turd, are we going to polish then? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't miss that. So whose turd are we going to polish then to make this work? That's funny. <laughs> um, but So what we do know for sure is, so far, is that there's a cult at large in New York City who they're trying to do something bad. We, we've kind of grasped that much so far, I would think. They mm -hmm. they have contacted or created this entity. Um, yes, I mean it's not so, just some lone guy practicing a spell bug. There's there's a cult. So yeah. Okay. And somehow you wandered into the middle of it. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, anyone else? Um, so it's getting fairly late-ish now, um, and a um, couple things. So let me just check here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so rolling. So Peter is just reading the newspaper in the central office. Is that correct? Right. Okay. And then uh, I know I should give you guys a map of just sort of the layout and stuff but if you remember the movie i mean there's the central office and then upstairs is sort of where all your offices are and stuff like that so janine conceivably would have been on the phone at the front office right yep uh with with peter sort of in the back and right then, my office is is directly behind janine's yep, desk exactly. Yep. And then you guys are doing the research are probably all upstairs, right? Yeah. I'm just setting the stage for you, sort of for what's about to happen. 
Okay. So, um, Peter and Janine, you guys are the first to hear um, some kind of sound coming from the basement. Who? So that's so Peter and Janine. There is you hear a thud sound come from the basement. We should send the new guy to take it. Where the containment unit is? Sorry, say that again. I missed that. Uh, Containment places? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Where your power center is for the whole building. Yeah. 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 Hey, Peter. Your 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 containment thing is leaking again. You should probably go check that out. Yeah, somebody should check that out. <laughs> I'm just gonna get up without saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and if you had some video equipment, you could take. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. You know what it could be? Past life experience <laughs> intruding on the present. <laughs> I, I think new guys beyond that at this point. So, uh, okay. Um, okay. So, just before I deal, while we put that aside, that that there's something strange going on in the basement. Um, Egon and and Ray, um, did you guys want to follow up with any further research or what? Uh, I just want to get your intentions first, so I know sort of where you guys, uh, how involved you guys are going to be upstairs. Okay. I think we're. I think I'm good at least. Yeah, I'm you good sure? as well. You're um, good as well. Okay. Is there That's anything it. else to research, really, though? Mm. There's like one other book, and the... then there's the manual. <laughs> Have you looked in all the books yet? There was one other book. Question is, can't remember the name. The cult book, you mean? No, we hit no, the we cult book. The we cult hit the book. nameless horrors, and we did Tobin's spirit guide. There what was, was the a Ghostbusters handbook and then the Roy Lance Guide to Secret Societies and Sects. Oh, that one might be good. Yeah, I thought that was the one Egon hit. No, he did the Spades Nameless. Uh, he did the Big Book of Occult Lore, as I recall. All right, well, I'll do the last one then. Okay. Um, and Egon, anything else from you, man? Are you... Uh, I think I'm good. I mean, you might, you might sort of be aware that there's stuff going on downstairs, so I don't know. Uh, not by my die roll, but um, okay. <laughs> so you're helping out with Ray upstairs then, okay? Okay. Alright. So, meanwhile, um, yeah, so Peter and Janine, tell me, uh, tell me what you'd like to do here. Um, I'm just gonna look at Peter. Until he does something <laughs> and make him uncomfortable, I I'll give probably, me jobs in this. I'll probably follow him to the stairs if, if he goes to check it out and just kind of like peer down. But I ain't going down there. So okay. we're here. All we know is we're hearing noises. Yep. No, I'm here we're, presuming I'm already on my way to the stairs because. Oh right, right, right. yes. I'm sorry. I'm I was gonna say, to where is new guy right now? Yeah, that's right. So, noob guy, and, and the other thing is too, since you guys are back in your HQs, you pretty much can have whatever props you want. Okay. It's, so you can wreck all kinds of stuff while you're handling this. Okay. Well, let's bring the proton gun. Uh, what were the, what those things called again? Proton packs. Proton packs. Proton packs. Like this nuclear yeah. reactor strapped to your back. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Jane's probably going to think it's a bad idea to shoot, to have anything to do with the proton packs in the basement with the containment unit. Like, we don't think that far ahead. Power system? Maybe. <laughs> don't uh, blow a ghost on <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bravely follow new guy down the stairs. Right. New guy. I'm sure you're... somebody's going to go out of their way to tell me that there is no better club than a shoulder mounted video camera. <laughs> oh, we're not there yet, man. It's the <laughs> it's, it's it's you see the size of that thing. It's it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you're lucky, you get four hours of use out of that thing. <laughs> okay. Man, I remember. Uh, 
but yeah, I mean, you've got all your walkie-talkies, you've got bullhorns, you've got your beach kit in case you need it. Oh, wait, there's an infrared camera. You haven't broken that yet. There we go. Ectovisor, yeah. you know, all of that stuff. PKE meters, parachutes, scuba gear. Yeah. I'm trying to give you ideas here, guys. So well, we probably won't need the scuba gear. I think I'm also going to grab a broom on the off chance that it's a person down there and I need to whack them. Okay. Uh, so you're grabbing a broom. How yeah, about we grab some infrared and the proton packs? I am not holding that infrared. <laughs> <laughs> no blame for this one, right? Uh, okay, so new guy, you're going down there, just down the stairs and checking it out. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. You know, let's let's assume I have whatever equipment will be most useful for this situation. I can't assume that, dude. You got to tell Speaking me. Of um, beta gaming. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of beta gaming. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, so if I'm not carrying the infrared, probably not a proton pack. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a crowbar. And maybe one of those PKE sensors. There you go. You got a PKE meter. Yeah. Well, what's it doing? Let's see. Check it out and get back to me. Get right yeah, back to me. <laughs> I had oh. better be able to turn around to get right back to you. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> well, it's stairs. I mean, I don't, you didn't handle ladders that well. So, uh, actually, yeah, there is a little bit of PKE energy coming from your basements. I don't think we ever saw the basement in the movies, did we? No, you did. Mm, yeah, you did. That's where the containment the room was. Oh, the containment room. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. sir. Yeah. yeah. That's, saw, that's like, why Janine is kind of having a bit of a flip out here. She doesn't want to take uh, anything too important down there. Too, too but it, it's very small. You've got your, your con ed equipment down there. and, and um, I also yeah. wanted to ask Blair, is there anything like gun-like that I have available to me that isn't a proton pack? Oh, you think you want to shoot something? I don't know. I, have a I don't think that's a good idea to bring a gun down to the... All right, fine. Well, no, the scuba gear does come with a... Hang on. Uh, a harpoon gun. So if you'd like oh, that... I have a crowbar and a five in brawl, so let's bank on that for now. All right, so you got the crowbar and a PKE meter, which is which is noodling a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, by the way, Janine? Yes, there is a knock at the front door. Huh. I'm just going to take the broom with me and go see what's going on. It's probably a probably plan for the listeners. What do you want to do? I'll go into the door. You're going to go check out the door. Okay, great. I, I was expecting the courier. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lyle, right. so you're still going down the stairs? I'm going to turn around to Peter and remind him that he is not going to help answer the door. <laughs> No, she's she's got it. I'll I'll back you up. It's not that I'm worried about. <laughs> and meanwhile, Ray and and Egon are upstairs. Just yes, blissfully ignorant. Very involved. Okay. Um. So who should we go to first? Okay, let's go to new guy going down the stairs. It's just the basement, guys, right? Like, what, what could possibly be? So you got the lights on? Is that what it? Could, or what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> We're going to need a bigger basement. <laughs> going to need a bigger broom. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what do you want to do here, uh, Lyle? Well, I'm going to keep sweeping the PKE meter. Okay. If I okay. can... Uh, it's, like, it's definitely something is definitely coming from uh like you're at the top of the stairs uh -huh. and you can just tell that that yeah you've got a little bit of a signal down there at the bottom somewhere in the basement okay okay i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep following it but i'm gonna be like turning around every three or four steps so i'm doing one of those Okay. Because I, mean, I want to make sure that Peter's. Show me that again. Show me I that. I need to see that as a repeat. No, yeah. I'm not showing you that again. Okay, could you stand up so that I fully understand exactly <laughs> what you're doing here? I would be so out of sight so fast. Are there are there any books in the basement? <laughs> are there any books in the basement? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'd have lots of stuff down there. Yeah. Symmetrical book stacking. <laughs> Just like the Philadelphia Mass Terrorists of 1947. Does the ever happened here before 
<laughs> right. No human being would stack books stack like books this. Like that. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so new guy is going down the stairs, pivoting every now and again to get a look of from Peter. <laughs> Terror. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Janine answers the door. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, there is actually two people at the front door. Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one guy is in a uh, bike courier outfit and has a large um, map roll on their back, which is lassoed on, and looks to have something for you to sign. And then the other person looks like a, um, well, looks like a bit of a weirdo, actually. Uh, to... Janine has a bad feeling that she might know the second person. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it looks like um, some kind of occultist person. Well, what you mean, like he's wearing a robe? Yeah, he's got a robe on. She turns to the courier. Well, you have been waiting for. I will take that map off your hands. And she gives him a small tip. Okay, wow, that's generous. And okay. just waves him away. All right. Um, the other guy looks at you like with, with big eyes, and he's kind of got, Hello, miss. <laughs> Uh, is he sort of amphibian looking? <laughs> oh, no, that's next week's scenario, Mike. That's next week's scenario. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I, I hate to ask this, but can I help you? Yes. I'm here to see the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Everyone's here comes here to see the Ghostbusters. What? I, what I really talking? like to see the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I, I really, I'm going to have to freeze frame that later. <laughs> so, Screenshot that. <laughs> what what you, sort of job are you here to talk to them about? I have a problem I need to talk about with the Ghostbusters. All right. Well... Okay, so Janine, if you aren't clear, or Jenna, if you aren't clear, warning bells should be going off. All right. Okay. Point, I'm, I'm going to ask them to wait outside while I go <laughs> find them. Okay. Oh, no, he really, no, he really, really wants to come inside. And yeah. Wants to come inside. You really, right. really have a five in grapple. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think Janine's going to bar the door at this point, just kind of like... So you're going to push you know, it back? ...the size of the door, and... You have a broom. I Janine's broom. like, that's, that's no problem. We can fit you in. Uh, let's make an appointment for you next uh, week. Sometime between about office hours about or between 8 and 8.30. 10 a.m. Okay. So you are going to push it back then? Yeah. Okay. I'm always going to have the broom out in front of me. I don't think he can get, you know, unless he gets down and crawls on the floor. <laughs> No, no, no. That's fine. I mean, he. I mean, how best to describe it? He, he, he's kind of like, he thinks you have offered him inside. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a little confused, and um, and as soon as you bar the way, that's when I'll sort of make a grapple roll against his enthusiasm versus yours. Keep the hell out. <laughs> Uh, and if, yeah, if that's what you would like to do, then I'll roll for that. Yeah, it's probably not best to let a guest in, no matter who they are, while we have a, a situation going on. Yeah, you know, that's... So um, So you get five dice. So four plus one ghost die, please. Yep. I can roll if you would like. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I trust you. There's a 15 plus three. 18. 18. Okay. Um, yeah, you definitely stop him. And you're able to close the door. Now, I mean, I don't know if you know the Ghostbusters door, but it is one of those ones that has like the little latch. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you close the door. Yep. And then you hear a thump. And then you hear another thump. And then you're able to open up the latch. And you can see that the guy is like continuing to walk into the door. 
Okay. <laughs> so so I can see the six pack. I can see Annie Potts there looking at going. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone very strange at the door, Peter. <laughs> at this point, I don't think she's going to call for Peter. I think she's going to get the two boys upstairs. Okay. All right. Uh, and so, meanwhile, then down in the basement, we've got a uh, new guy. You're still looking for. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, you make it to the bottom of the basement. Mm hmm. And you can see, um, coming from the signal, there is a little ghost down on the floor uh, in your basement. And if I could get you to roll for a moves for me, please. Okay. A little ghost? Is it Casper? Okay. Oh, hang on. Like, you can see that little, some kind of little a protoplasmic. Just, just moves by itself? Yes, please. You, you don't have to roll high. I just want to know if you ghosted or not. Yes, I did! For the second, third time in a row. Wow. It's full of ghosts. <laughs> Okay, so you sort of stumble when you get down to see that it is a ghostly rat. Oh, great. The floor. And you now are now rats. lying on the floor face to face with this rat. <laughs> He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? Ugly little <laughs> spud. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think he can hear you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, you keep rolling those off. I'm giving you a brownie point. That's Peter. All right. <laughs> Peter, I think your mother's come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to have... Um, let's do a quick research roll for Egon and the gang upstairs. We'll keep the action going here. I figure we got another 10 minutes or so of game time. Is that good, Mike? Yeah, then we better wrap up. Okay, I've got it pretty much coming to a boil here, so that'll work well. Um, keep okay, everybody I've on got... simmer until next week. That's hey. right. So, okay, I've got a good roll for Egon. Ray, do you want to try to do an occult roll, please? Ray. Ray. Um, a cult roll. Let Please. me see here. Eight dice plus one ghost. Okay. Jeez. I didn't get a ghost. Okay. Um, so far, 20, okay, 30, you got it. You've three. Got You've got it. Um, yes. So the cult of Bahishma, you both both Egon and Ray come to this as a conclusion because you're working together. It kind of, it, I can take combinations of your stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yep. you can collaboratively work on research. So that's the other thing. Um, I don't know if we explained that, but um, so yes. Yeah, so the powerful cult of Akvad um, from ancient times from Sumerian Babylonian Um so there is some aspect for which Akvad had an army of undead. Akvad was very big in Babylonia. Very big, yep. Very big. Um, and there was this process by which, as part of their worshipping, uh, Akvad could turn physical objects into ghosts. Delightful. Mm hmm. Okay. I hope that doesn't include human beings. Oh, well, uh, maybe. <laughs> so, anyways, there's this ghostly rat in the basement. Uh, a new guy is getting a very good look at it. Um, and, uh, and then we've got Janine going upstairs to Ray and uh, Egon. Uh, what do you say when you get to the top of the stairs there, Janine? Uh, I think we got another one of those crazy people coming to see you. Uh, he just keeps... This is not in my job description. This is not in my job description. <laughs> and 
And he just keeps flinging himself at the door. I hate to call the cops on him. Can you guys do something about him? Well, it's a good door. Eventually, the problem will work itself out. If he keeps banging. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Well, it is New York. I mean, <laughs> doesn't it's this happen? Like the Mormons, it can survive weirdos. Come on, exactly. it's a sliding scale of weirdos. <laughs> um, no offense to Mormons. I'm just, you know, just saying. All kinds of crazy out there, right? Different levels, different degrees, right? This is, you know. Um, yeah, so Ray and Egon, um, this is strange. Normally, Janine doesn't pester you guys. So what do you want to do with that? I say leave it to Ray. <laughs> go get him, Ray. Go get him, Ray. I will go and open the door. Okay. All right. That's He's going to cool. open the door. Uh, all right. Never mind. I, just, I just forget I said anything. You're the one that allowed Ray to go to the door. That's true. Actually, if off. anyone could talk, talk to crazy people, it would be Ray. It would be Ray. No, no it would be Dan Aykroyd. Well, there's that too. But, you know. he, is pretty, he is pretty nuts. Yeah. Here, here's one of his skull vodka glasses that uh, I have from an event that he held. So. Um, He's really into you. UFOs and all that stuff, paranormal. He's really into it. That is, he has a lot of very theories about that. Uh, he didn't just write the script to Ghostbusters. In fact, if you know anything about the script writing process, it, it, the first version was really out there before <laughs> Ivan Reitman was brought on. So anyways, um, so new guy, um, this rat, what do you want to do here? And Peter, you jump in with the rat at any time you feel comfortable, okay? <laughs> Listen, you you smell something? <laughs> Actually, this thing doesn't smell much at all. I was gonna say I smelled more when I was at the top of the stairs than when I got down here. Yeah. Um. I am going to make a quick roll to the side, kind of around the rat. Okay. So that I can get back. Well, up. It's not really moving. It's like checking you out. It's it's got like the beady eyed and it's. Okay. Well, I want to. I, I want to get some distance between me and the rat as I. Okay. Also so, I'll uh, Indiana Jones. You're slowly. I'm gonna wait. You. <laughs> is that it? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go look for a ghost it's cat. Indy as rats are to me. Let's, ghost let's do that. I love it. I'm gonna love go look for a ghost cat. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Professor Brown is able to get off the floor and get to the stairs away from the rat. You've also pretty much confirmed that this is what's giving off the PKE. Okay. Good. Okay. Do so, I... Peter, any ideas up there? Or are you just enjoying the view? As long as it stays in the basement, I don't see a problem. You know? All right. That's good. That's a good way of thinking about it. All right. That's very contained problem solving, you know? That's. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, Listen, we're not a restaurant, okay? We don't have to worry about those kind of things. Yeah, that's true. Are we we, could, bad, we, we bad. could proton pack it, but I mean. Well, I, I am actually going to second that because I don't think it would escape me that having a ghost rat in the basement after encountering the bizarre rats in the sewers is too much of a coincidence. So. Got a point of one. I'd like to put this thing in a box. Okay. Um, I made a roll for you and did very well, uh, <laughs> Professor Brown. We, we've got the trap with us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Professor Brown, you are quite sure that that ghost rat was one of the rats from the sewers. Oh. It had a special marking on its back. Huh. It, it, I mean, go packers. To put them down, and yeah, that's one of the rats from the sewers. Hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, at the front door. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, things are beginning to pile up. <laughs> and just meanwhile, back at the outhouse, but that's you know. Mm -hmm. too, so. Okay, Ray, wh what do you want to do with uh, the guy at the front door? Well, I. Bring my head around, look through the door. 
Okay, so he's still he's yes. still. <laughs> yes, I, I I would I I would like to see the Ghostbusters, please. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. Well, you see me. <laughs> <laughs> Make an appointment. <laughs> uh, Okay, so Janine is is probably behind you. Then yeah, she's got the plans to the. I feel the, like she has the like broom ready yeah. for the guy to come through the door. Yeah, she's got the plans on her back and got the broom like at a yeah. safe walloping distance here. Um, um, Ghostbusters, what do you want? <laughs> that's good, Mike. That's good. Um, yeah, he just seems to want to come inside. Well, we don't normally here. let the public come in without an appointment. Oh, that seems to stop him. Like he's thinking. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> give us a call, make an appointment. Gotta go. Got lots so of ghosts to catch. To slide, <laughs> to slide the door. <laughs> Can I make here's an my, appointment? Here's my card. <laughs> but it, it's one of those things where he sticks his head in going, can I make an appointment and my my hand just does this <laughs> <laughs> all right um and with that he seems you you seem to have convinced him that he should call come back and and make an appointment so 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 what he so when he closes the door he goes okay then so i'll come back uh, yeah, you do that. He I'll says what? My... I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Blur. What? What? Is <laughs> okay, then. So, I'll come back. <laughs> I'll bring my friends, and we'll come back and see you guys. Oh boy, friends, okay. lovely. <laughs> All right, we ready to wrap? All right, so um, just so. So we've got Lyle and uh, we got new guy and Peter in the basements. You got the rat there. You've got Janine and Ray um, and I guess Egon coming downstairs. So you guys can sort of meet and wrap up your session here and then we'll mm -hmm. take it from them. So and crazy guy. Yeah. Uh, did he say so he was coming back? Tomorrow, apparently, he's bringing friends. He's going to bring all his crazy little cult friends. Uh, well, did you guys make any progress? Well, we found There's out a ghost rat in the basement. Uh, <laughs> we found out the thing we shot in the sewers might be a shit god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna shout out from the basement. Oh, this keeps making more and more sense by the minute. Okay, we're up to date. <laughs> Listen, I feel like this this Dookie God is not gonna be that big a deal. I mean, everyone is <laughs> every weekend. Everyone is making praise to the porcelain God. So you know, should be should be happy. Should be fine. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you've got a lot of stuff that's going on. You've got the plans to look at next week. You've got whatever you do want to have, maybe a ghost pet in the, in the basement if you would like. Um, there was also some research about the sigil itself and maybe related to this Black Pearl thing or something. Um, so is it a, there's some. Is it a sigil or sigil? I just want to, I want to be clear on that before we sign off. You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want it to be, Americans. Come on. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then, of course, you have your buddy who will be back tomorrow with friends. friends. Okay? So I think that's a good Office place to hours go. are every other Thursday at <laughs> 11.15. <at> <laughs> We're going to need a better bouncer, Janine. <laughs> It's fine. I think we just answered the door with a proton pack. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a flamethrower, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and it's the gun. What it is. All right. So uh, right. thank you very much, guys. That was a pretty thank good you, session. Blair. Thank, thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair, very, very much. Look forward to uh, next week. We'll find out more 
ghostly stuff is going down. Okay. All right. Thanks awesome. for doing this, Blair. Good to All see right, you. Got it, guys. All right. See you next week.